Mesothelioma is an incredible, isolating disease. It's easy to feel alone. There's no one around you with this. I remember the cancer team saying, oh, we always try to pair you up with you know, a mentor, somebody who has the same diagnosis that you have. And they looked at me and they said, well, obviously that's not going to be the case for you. I was told that I would be lucky to see 2012. Mesothelioma. I have no idea what that is. The first thing anybody does when they're diagnosed with, with any disease is go online and you start researching. My oncologist said, don't Google it. So of course I went home and Googled it. You, you just search around looking for hope, looking for hope, and there just, there wasn't any at that time. I found a survivor online. She said, by the way, have you called Mary? And I said, I have no idea what you're talking about. Who's Mary? And she's like, you need to call Mary. You call and by God, you get a phone call back immediately. Everything changed after that. She wanted to know about my case, but as I started to tell her about it, I realized that she already knew everything about my case somehow. A person I'd never heard of put me in touch and in the clinic of the probably the most expert group of physicians on the planet. We both had a background in the restaurant industry that we bonded over, and I felt like I was in safe hands. Everything I've done, I talk to Mary first. She's the first person I call. I've sent Mary emails at one o'clock in the morning or two o'clock in the morning. She's up, she answers. Mary is on Facebook or Twitter all the time. She's not a nine to five girl. She would check it before she goes to bed. She'll check it in the middle of the night if she wakes up. She is a girl who is 24 seven. We all have this common denominator. I just think about my first conversation with Mary and you start thinking to yourself, Mary's 10 feet tall. She's got a personality that's bigger than life. And then you meet her. She's this little thing. And you think to yourself, that can't be Mary. But she has this big heart. What does Shakespeare say? Though she be but little, she be fierce. That applies to Mary. She was the first person to give me that hope. And she had those cold hands but the warm heart. I call her my, my miso mom. She talks in a way like you're the only person in the room, but there's like 50 people, but she's like talking to each of them. She's just, she's just a friend. That's the best word for Mary, she's a friend. She was um, a lifesaver in so many ways. She's kind of this fighter and, and, and trying to really try to do what she can for the patients and get this difficult disease to be treated more effectively. When I first met her, she seemed so professional and she is but I think she has this other side to her. She just lets loose. She can dance. <laughs> she likes to dance. <laughs> yeah, I've really seen her cut a rug before. Watching her sing has been fun. Who knew? <laughs> so three words to describe Mary. You can't do Mary in three words. You can't do Mary in three weeks. Funny. Passionate. Advocate. I don't know if I can describe Mary in three words fit for television. She's kind. She's an angel. Honest. Energetic, encouraging. Um, Only three, that's the tough part. Just exciting. Energetic, encouraging, exciting. Intelligent. Dedicated. Understated. Opinionated. Respectful. Dedicated, educated, and, and compassionate. When I found Mark and I found Mary, uh, we had like a two hour conversation on the phone that for the first time I had hope there isn't a day that goes by that I don't hear of a patient that says I'm alive because of Mary Hesdorfer. Six years ago, they told me, you know, make arrangements. My wife got to see my daughter grow up. Walking my daughter down the aisle after the doctor says I have terminal cancer and now having five grandchildren. So is there something that I can take away? Yeah, I'm alive. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, Mary. Thank you. Sincerely. That's my primary message here. Thank you. Thank you, Mary. 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 We love you. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, Mary. Thank you so much for your tireless, tireless work. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, Mary. Thank you for being there for me. Thank you, Mary, for everything you do. She really is a lifesaver, and I, I know the Lord put her here. Thank you. Thank you, Mary.